Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the different technical terms used in the construction industry. So the first one is the PCC, then RCC, RBC, RMC, and the DPC. So what are these technical terms? I will explain one by one in detail. The PCC is the first term in the abbreviation of the PCC is the plain cement concrete. Plain cement concrete. It is the type of the concrete where we use no reinforcement bar. There is no steel bar used in such type of the concrete. No steel bar. So when we use no steel bar, it means that this type of the concrete is used for very low load structure. There is not such heavy load acting on the structure. That's why we are not using any steel bar in such type of concrete where there is no steel bar or no reinforcement bar is used. So we call such type of the concrete is the plain cement concrete. It is mostly used in the finishing surfaces or in the construction of one story building or in the parking plots or in the garages where there is no such heavy loads acting on structure. The second term is the RCC. RCC is known as the reinforced reinforced cement concrete. Now it is quite different from that of the PCC. In this type of the concrete we use the steel bar to resist the tension and also to increase the capacity of the structure. And such type of the concrete is mostly used in the construction of mega structures like bridges and the construction of dams are in the offices, in the hospital, in the schools and the residential buildings of maybe of 20 stories or 80 stories and so on. So this type of the concrete where steel bar is used is known as the reinforced cement concrete and such type of concrete can take heavy loads. And this is mostly used throughout the world. And such type of concrete is mostly used in our daily life where we have used and such, and such type of concrete is used in our daily life where we are using the steel bar in the concrete known as the reinforced cement concrete. It is the composition of the reinforced the steel and the cement. That's why it's known as the reinforced cement concrete. Now the third one is the RBC. RBC is known as the reinforced brick concrete. This is the type of the concrete where this is a composition of the reinforced, the steel bar. It is the composition of the steel bar and the brick. So we are using two different material in this concrete. It is the steel and the brick. But this type of the concrete construction is not common in our daily life. But sometimes we use the combination of the reinforced and the brick to make the structure and such type of the combination where there is a reinforced steel bar is used with the brick and such type of concrete will be known as the RBC or the reinforced brick concrete. The third one is the, the fourth one is the RMC. RMC is a technical term used for the ready mixed concrete. Ready mixed concrete. It name shows that it is a ready mix. Ready mix Ready mix means that it has been prepared in the factory or in the industry and then we bring this concrete directly from the factory onto the site where we have to pour into the structure. So let's, let's suppose this is the factory where we make the concrete in this factory. So this concrete is being made in this factory and then we bring this concrete through the trucks to the site where we have to pour the concrete into the structure in order to make the structure. So when we make the concrete in the factory and we bring this concrete through trucks from the factory into the site, so this concrete will be known as the ready mix concrete where it has been ready mixed in the factory. We just have to bring it from the trucks through the trucks onto the site in order to make the structure. The last term is the DPC. DPC is known as the damp proof course. This is also with important terms used in the concrete construction. Damp proof course is a 
a layer of a small layer of the concrete used in the construction to prevent the moisture from passing into the interior of the building. So in order to show the example for the damp proof course, let's consider this is the wall of any building and in the wall we make here we made a small layer of the concrete this will be known as the DPC is the damp proof course. So this small layer has been able to resist or to prevent the moisture penetration into the interior of the building so the moisture will not come into the interior of the building that's why we use a small layer of the concrete and this small layer of the concrete is known as the damp proof course damp means the dampness we prevent the dampness of the building by such course or such layer of the concrete so this known is the damp proof course damp proof means that we want to prevent or to stop the dampness in the building that's why it's called as the damp proof course 